Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And before I continue this video, I just wanna say thank you for clicking on it. And if you haven't already subscribed, and also if you haven't seen the last video, I'm gonna put it on the top right corner. You should go see it if you have not. But without further ado, let's get into the game. All right, let's see what happens when we go through here. I'm pretty sure we're at the area. Yeah, here we go. So we should be able to see what's going on. This area should be safe enough to talk. Is it true that the new Himuka government was transforming people into others? Yes, it was a long time ago. But Fubuki's fiance, Alice Ichijo, was also metamorphosed. My brother and Fubuki began investigating the cause of Alice's metamorphosis. The case led them to find out about new Himuka's personality rehabilitation, metamorphosis technology, and the surveillance systems of each city. Excuse me, do you mean my Aunt Alice? That's right, she was your aunt. Have you heard anything? No. I was told she joined OSF and planned to leave when she turned 20, but she was killed in the line of duty. That's why my family was in such strong opposition to me being scouted. But since we're legally unable to refuse... Hey, I found the file on Alice Ichijo in the database. She looks exactly like Hanabi. Alice was the daughter of OSF Hospital's previous chairman. That's why she was engaged to Spring Pharmaceuticals Major General Fubuki. I think that's true. It's the first I've heard this, but it seems plausible. If this was a plan led by the new Himuka government, does that mean my father knew about it? Oh. I think he did. Moreover, it might be better to assume that he was at the center of it all. The Sumeragi family has a long history in politics, after all. And does my brother know about it, too? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark? Yuito, Kasane is coming. Eight o'clock. <laughs> Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Okay, it looks like we're facing Kasan. For the third me? time, I believe. And she brought some friends with her. Okay. So, this will be kind of a pain because I think we have these guys that do multiple. Well, they all have their own abilities. So, Kasan is the same as mine. It would seem like. Arashi over here is the same as I think Luka or Luke because uh, she also can do teleportation and the other one okay so he just went invisible perfect okay I want to probably lock on to one of these I don't want to pick Sand first because she does do a lot of damage and I think she'll be the longest one to take down I'm, popping, I'm probably gonna pop a lot of resources here guys yeah, I, can, I can see already that my all jelly is already at four all right, let's see if I can take on Arashi first, Arashi first, but she is a pain in the butt with all these dodging abilities. Okay, let's just do our own too here. Maybe we can get closer to her. So, I want to say so far so good, but it's not. I'm going to change it up here. So what I'm going to plan on doing is probably change it up a few times. Make sure I don't overuse a certain ability because it does deplete. Okay, I'm not having really good success fighting these people right now, actually. Take a row. The Kagero is also invisibility, so we can also use clairvoyance to leave here, and we can detect him if he does go invisible. He just uses a barrel here, actually, so we probably use a good thing to use fire again. We can use a Nepi. And then we can probably get some fire damage off, and then just, yeah, there we go. Yeah, perfect, okay. And then, uh, like, I'm gonna try to say, I'm gonna use Gemma here as well, because it does help take more damage. Okay, perfect. Now his brain drive is gonna be good. Which is not really good. But I think here we can do guys is just essentially just keep going and attacking properly. I think I'm okay. I just need to make sure I use my jellies. Okay, here I use the clear warrior, and then I should be able to hit him if I can get a lock on. Oh, that works too, actually. See how much damage I'm doing though? Like, you can look at the top of the screen. Well his bar is really quickly because of the fact that can we knock him down? He got staggered. And we're almost there. Okay, one down. Two more to go. Oh, there you are. So I think with this one, I'm just gonna attack it and try to use Luke. Luke does the ability here a lot because he's gonna make it easier for me to attack. And then here comes her brain drive. 
I guess all of them are going to hit Brain Drives once in a while throughout the fight when they're closing in on their health is getting lower. Okay, we'll just use it again here. Same concept. We just use the oil, burn it, and then I think we should be able to take it down here. So I'm going to use this and then hit Gamma immediately, I think. It's the best bet. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the best bet for that. Okay, perfect. And there goes another one here. So then my next one is going to be Kassan. She's gonna give me the hardest time. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay. So now I gotta just attack her and hope for the best. Let's just use this one here. Just do a lot of damage. As much damage as we can, really. I think here is best to just attack. And just keep going and just support any abilities that she will have. Her brain drive got active really early, but it makes sense. She's against two other people in my squad, and I can see that she's maybe being overwhelmed here. So the best bet is just to keep attacking, but try to avoid her abilities. I didn't even dodge that. So we're just going to keep going. I'm going to keep using all my jellies here, unfortunately. There's going to be a lot of jellies being used across this fight because, well, it's not easy, really. It is important that we actually use my jellies. Oh god, again, this is the same concept that we did last time when we fought her in the very beginning. She has the same ability as I switched to the copy of her. I have to just spam the circle here. There you go. 4,000 damage. It's pretty good. And then we actually have uh, this ability because her yellow bar depleted. So this is a lot of damage. You shouldn't kill it, obviously, but it is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage, actually. Okay, let's go attack it. Gamma, let's do this. Gosh, not like this. It's brain field. I forgot that the enemy can use brain field accordingly because uh, she also has the same ability as me and she's part of the SAS. So, Careful, everyone. so we have 40 seconds. Jeez. As I say, I get smacked. Oh, my here. All right. I think the best bet is probably to lead it out. Although I'm kind of concerned to see if I do attack it, how much damage it does to me if I get hit by it. Maybe just like, let's just try it. Never mind. There's way too much damage. Let's just call it to 15 seconds and wait it out. Just after that, we can attack properly. And I see that my brain drive is actually pretty active. I have to wait for the her brain drive to be gone. All right, so it's done. Someone's down for the count. Sugumi, that's fine. We can just use our brain drive here, and then we can just go hard. A brain field, I should say. Brain drive is a whole different situation. Time to pop off. Me and the squad are gonna pop off. Sugami is not there, but you know what I mean. Me and Lucas gonna pop off. I don't know if I'm doing these fights right, guys. I feel like I'm having a hard time killing the enemies using this ability, too. Okay, looks like we got the center. Looks like Sugami is a backup and he's running, and we can just use this ability. Looks like it hurts a lot when this happens. Looks like it's like a KO kind of thing, but luckily, it doesn't take her out for good. Alright, let's see what happens next in this little sequence. Kasane, tell me! Why did you kill my father and join Seiron? Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because new Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Kodama's coming. What? What is she doing here? Master Yuito, Kodama is here. Huh? Uh, wait, Kasane! Oh, that traitor Kasane is here too? That's fine. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Yuito. I'm Kodama Malone. I believe this is our first time meeting as well. Oh, you're right! But I'm only loyal to Master Yuito. What? Oh, Master Yuito, I have a message from Master Fubuki. He's taking care of everything, so you can come back now. So, are you on our side, Kodama? Of course! I am always on your side, Master Yuito. Oh, fish! 
Actually, my position may be the leader of Kodama Platoon and Major General Kabuki's aide, but my heart will always belong to you, Master Yuito. You could have just contacted us instead of coming all the way out here, Kodama. Maybe no one trusts you, Wataru. I mean, your sister went to Seiron after all. Shut up. Don't group me in with Haruka. And it wasn't just to deliver a message. I had to give this to you, too. What is it? Your medicine that was discarded at the OSF hospital. Oh. Is that okay? I don't mean to offend my uncle, but isn't it dangerous to take meds from the OSF hospital? Hanabi, and this goes for the rest of you as well, but it's in your best interests not to talk about or criticize the hospital in Suo. I'm sure you know why. Because the government is monitoring everyone. Exactly. Well, I'll be going back now. See you later, Master Yuito. Huh? This ampule... It's the same as the one I found in the abandoned underground subway. Why don't we stop by the hideout before returning to Suo, to go over everything we learned? We won't have to worry about anyone listening there. And don't worry. Recording conversation data through my control system isn't allowed. Now that I think about it, Major General Fubuki probably prohibited recording in order to protect the OSF after he learned the truth about the government. Yeah, maybe. All right, we got the hospital prescription drug. So much has happened. It feels like my brain is fried. Let's go over our situation first. Research on powers is being conducted at the old Ichijo OSF hospital building. It's likely they progressed in the research of the brain, gained the ability to turn people into others, and perform personality rehabilitation. Yes. You can't blame yourself. You didn't know about any of this. Yes. You are so kind to everyone. So, I think you should be kind to yourself, too. Thank you. Moving on, the government is well aware that we've come to know this information. Major General Fubuki is trying to put out the fires, but it would be best to consider the possibility that we will become fugitives from the government. Anyone on the run from the government won't survive. Wait, there's Seiron. Yes, worst case scenario, we should consider fleeing to Seiron. And Yuito, how is your memory been? I haven't had any missing gaps in my memory recently, I think. If anything strange happens, please let us know. Although, concerning that medication you were prescribed... It was prescribed by the OSF hospital. It kind of scares me. Yes, I'm concerned as well. Right. I think it would probably be best to avoid taking it, unless your condition significantly worsens. You're right. I'll do that. Hey, do you think it would be a good idea to ask my brother about this? Oh yeah, Chief Sumeragi is your older brother. I would advise against it. The Chief is with the government, after all. Of course, he is also your family. But any unnecessary contact would be dangerous right now. I wouldn't want to hinder Major General Fubuki in any way. <sighs> yes, you're right. Kaito, were you aware of Muhimuka's power experiments? Did Dad and Kaito do that to Nagi? Damn it! The only one that was left in the dark was me. Only me. All right, poor Yuto. Okay, perfect. We're on standby here. Okay, so usually on standby. Well, I'll explain it a little bit. Let me just tell you. So. Well, essentially, during standby, we can talk to our teammates and increase the levels. So when I use their abilities, it will enhance myself a little bit better this time around. I'm sorry, Yuito. You're the commander. I shouldn't have interfered. No, you're always so level-headed and helpful. Don't be afraid to tell me what you think. Understood. Oh, was that in order? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Freaking Luca. Anyway, so you will see here... 
For example, let's look at. The country is turning people into others, and my father and brother are in on it too. I don't know who they really are. Maybe I'm the only one who doesn't know anything. Okay, I think they're done talking. Let's double check. Give it a second. Okay. So both Nagi and Naomi were hurt by the government, and Karin wants to take it down. What's wrong, Emma? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about what I can do or what I should do. Okay. So moving on, now that I can't talk, I think I can go click on Sugumi's here so you can see how the purple pinkish thing is. We can increase her bond level by talking to her and next time we use her ability, it'll give us some sort of a plus damage. It'll be like level two bond instead of level one. Sugumi, can we talk? Huh? Talk? Sure. Oh, are you busy? It's okay if you are. N no, it's fine. I just wasn't ready. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm sorry for showing up so suddenly. But... I'm sorry. Don't apologize, really. I'm not good at chatting. I just can't think of what to say and I get all quiet. I feel like people get uncomfortable when they talk to me. So I always apologize. I don't feel uncomfortable at all, so don't worry about it. Talk as slowly as you need to. Thanks. So, did you want something? Oh, it's not that important, but I saw you watering the flowers at OSF headquarters before. I wanted to ask you if you like flowers and plants. Yeah, gardening is my hobby. I've grown lots of plants since I was little. Wow, gardening sounds fun. There were a lot of plants in my garden at home too. Your garden is probably big. Yeah, I bet taking care of it was hard. We've kind of let it go lately. That's too bad. It is. There were all kinds of flowers before. I used to enjoy spending time looking at them. Oh, Yuito, you like plants? Huh? Well, I suppose you could say I do. I've never actually grown them myself, though. What kind do you like? Flowers or decorative shrubs? Big trees are cool, too. Hmm. Well, if I had to choose... Oh, right. There were these beautiful white flowers in our garden. I like those. They seem kind somehow. They only bloom for a short time, though. Do you know the flower's name? No, I don't. The old gardener who planted them quit a long time ago. Hmm. Sugumi? Why are you so quiet? I think I can find that flower. What? You can do that? Mm-hmm. I'm good at investigating plants. It will be faster if I have more information. Information? Oh, you mean like the flower's characteristics? Um... I think it bloomed in the winter. Mm-hmm. What else? Tell me exactly what it looks like. The petals are small and kind of pointed, and the tips of them are tinged pink. The leaves were oval, long, and thin, and kind of came up around the bottom. It was about this big. Does that make sense? I get the idea. Now, do you remember the number of petals? That's a small detail, so you might not. Yeah. I'm not so sure, but... I think it was about six? No, wait. Maybe seven. Yeah, it was seven. I think. You have a good memory. That's plenty of information. I'll look into it. I'll let you know when I know the name. Thanks. I'd be so happy if I could see that flower again. Hey, Sugumi? No, this is... Lanceolate. Smaller and cyclic. It doesn't look like she can hear me. I guess she really does like plants. Hmm. She's really focused. I'll leave her alone. Alright, so that was the brain episode. So I would do that every now and then. Because I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too many Bond episodes. It's a long one, as you can see. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is click on this table, investigate it, just to proceed forward. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode a lot. I do appreciate it. And let's just continue and you know, not hold back I've on what's going on and see much. what goes on My further ahead. Going numb. I should get some rest. Yuito, wake up. Wachiru is on the line. <sighs> Sorry. I only meant to take a little break, but it looks like I fell asleep. So, Wataru, what's up? Is the fact that we snuck into the old OSF hospital going to be an issue? No. Major General Fubuki was able to take care of that for us, so that's not a problem anymore. It might not be a big deal, but I thought I should let you know about the hole in Kunat Highway. Now that you mention it, there was something strange in the sky above Kunat Highway. I guess you could call it a hole. So much happened after that, I'd forgotten about it. So what was it? The government is calling it the Kunat Gate. A survey team took a look, but aside from the extremely localized gravitational anomaly, they don't know anything about it. It's just that it has similar characteristics to a black hole, so that area has been deemed off-limits. Kunat Gate. Nothing could be seen on the other side. It was unsettling. You might not go there, but I figured it's better to know about it than not. That's true. Thanks for telling me about it. If you learn anything more, please let me know. As you wish. Oh, I almost forgot. Yuito Platoon's next orders are to stay on standby. So you can hang around the hideout a little while longer. Really? Then I think we should do just that. Yes, that is a good idea. Knowing Fubuki, I'm sure he arranged all of this. So I think it's best to comply. Mind if I come in? Major General Fubuki, how did you find this place? I told him. I thought it would be safer to talk here in the hideout rather than meet in the safe zone every time. Thank you, Luca. I managed to sneak past their surveillance, so we should be fine for a little while. They started monitoring you? I told you before that I was a government dog, but I don't have to be a dog anymore now that Karin's gone. What do you mean? Karin's personality didn't make him popular with the government. The top brass has been targeting him for elimination or personality rehabilitation for some time now. That's why I took on the role of being the government's puppet, directing the OSF in Karin's place. So, does he... He doesn't know that I had to become his monitor in order to protect him from the government. Besides, even if I told him, He'd probably just tell me to stay out of it. To be honest, I'm a little relieved. I don't have to be the government's yes-man anymore. Government surveillance will be stretched thin after Seiron's uprising. I don't plan on missing this opportunity. I should be able to bring change to this country by taking a different path from Karin. Different path? What are you planning on doing? This country is aggressively pursuing power research through illegal human experimentations. I have no idea why. They can get away with it because the government has complete control over information. Even the media is under the government's monitoring and influence. I want to find out why they would do this, and free this country from its corrupt system. Karin joined forces with Seiron, and rebelled against the state to do the same. However, I feel that collapsing the government system from the inside is the fastest way to results. My brother is trying to change this country from the outside, while you're trying to change it from within. Yes. Feigning loyalty allows us opportunities to learn valuable information. We should be able to find out what the government is hiding through the city computer Arahabaki. Please, let me help you. I want to know what my father has done, and what my brother is hiding. Yuito, you are the commander of this platoon, and a commander's number one responsibility is to their platoon members. If you attempt to pursue these government secrets, it will undoubtedly put your platoon members in danger. Are you fully aware of that? Then please, remove me from command. I can't do that because, for better or worse, there are many eyes on you. There's also the fact that your post was specifically ordered by Chief Kaito Sumeragi. Well, if we all agree with what Commander Yuito is doing, then it doesn't matter. Yama, 
Either way, my time with the OSF is drawing to an end. I'm getting too old. But before I leave, I want to uncover the truth. I want to know why that happened to Naomi. And why Nagi received personality rehabilitation. I agree with Gemma. If you're going to try to uncover the government's secrets, then I would like to help. I was also subjected to this country's human experiments. What do you mean? My brother Karin and I received power enhancement treatments. I had no idea. If Yuito can't be removed from the platoon, then you can remove the platoon members instead. Any member who doesn't want to take part in this can simply be assigned to a different platoon. Fine. I can't very well turn down your help now. However, reorganizing your platoon requires paperwork. So I will issue you an official deployment order in the meantime. Please gather intel around the Seiron area. I've heard OSF deserters are appearing around Mizuhagawa. Former OSF members sympathetic to Seiron's cause could be up to something. While you're investigating, I will take the steps necessary to reassign Hanabi and Sugumi to a different platoon. What? Oh. Okay, get to it then. Yuito, I'll stay in the platoon as the operator. I feel the same as you and Gemma. I'll help you stop the government from doing whatever they want. Thanks, Wataru. All right, we got the squad with us the whole time. That's awesome. I'm really happy to see that they're not leaving me behind. I know that sometimes when the game is like, oh yeah, you can't do this, but you have to do some other things in order to get to this point. And now I think we kind of play our price for that. All right, so now let's move on to see what's going on next here. Let's just save quickly because I don't want to accidentally, you know, have to do that again. I find that sometimes if something were to corrupt, Saving is always great to go back to. Okay. So it looks like I believe we are good to go. Do we have to talk to any of our teammates here? I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like we can. Let's just double talk, check and just talk to one of them maybe to proceed with the game. I'm not sure if we have to go somewhere else. I mean, we can talk to Gamma quickly here. Oh, we have to go somewhere. Let's hold over to, oh, I see. Okay. All right, quickly, let's see. Okay, so we have to go to the Mizugawa district and the construction site. Okay, perfect. So we look like we're going to a new area because we want to cover the secrets. And it's good that we have a squad that keeps us from moving on and, you know, without making us feel like we're wasting our time. So it looks like we're in another area that I believe I came by here before. Yes, okay. I'm trying to remember. I've only had a few episodes in and I know that we encountered this place once or twice. Okay, looks like we just need to go down here and looks like we might have another area here that we have to discover because of the exclamation mark on the map. Alright, like let's a grab this. <laughs> we need a lot of LA jelly because probably all of them. Oh, something's gonna happen here. There's a chance that Seiron OSF patrols might show up beyond this point. Let's keep our eyes open. Were you serious about what you said back at the hideout? About helping Major General Fubuki? Right. Because wouldn't that mean going against your brother and your late father? I'm staying in this platoon. What? Sugumi. What happened to Naomi was terrible. And if the government had something to do with it, then I won't let them get away with it. Hold on. Incoming others from the front. Hanabi, Sugumi, we'll talk later. For now, let's clean up the other. Oh, yeah, really right. easy enemies. Okay, perfect. The game is trying to throw me a freebie after having to have that type of person in the other. These are like one of the easier enemies. So I'm really happy I don't have to deal with the big enemies or another boss per se, because that red guy can be good right now at this time. We have not that many resources to kill ourselves. Is that it? I can't be here. There's no way. Yeah, no way. Oh, this little guy. This is actually not that hard, I, although I do kind of mess up. Wait, wait, get my get my, there we go. Sorry, I was pressing uh, the wrong, I had to click two buttons, but I was clicking on one only. So this enemy is really easy once you understood it. There's two mechanics, I think. There's one there's that, oh gosh, oh, I don't know how I did that. You destroy the shield that's on his face, like, uh, as you can see, it's kind of reflecting some damage. So, let's just use this ability here, because we can ram this thing through. Oh, shoot. 
Whoa, that did so much damage. I think we can take it on right here. Yeah, we can kill it. Oh my gosh, that was actually insane that we actually did that. Helped me and saved me a lot of time. Are there any more others? I'm not reading any. Mm. Yuito, are you okay? Yeah, I didn't take too much damage in that fight. What are you talking about? You suddenly said your head hurt and stopped dead in your tracks. Huh? Did you black out again? Do you remember what we were talking about? Hanabi asked me if I was really going to help Major General Fubuki, and then Sugumi said she was going to stay in the platoon. And after that? After that, we got attacked by others. So we obviously didn't talk about anything. <laughs> right? You don't remember Luca and Gemma's stories? What did they talk about? About my aging and the experiments Luca was subjected to. <sighs> Sorry, I don't remember any of that. Did you really talk about that? Yuito, I was listening so I can verify. I'm not seeing any abnormalities to your status, so maybe it's just mental exhaustion, like the doctor said. The more you use your power, the more you tax your brain. It might be better to avoid fights right now. I can't do that. We have our assignment. Are you really okay? Snakeboat. Ginger. Huh? What? Flax pig. Table slug? What? None of the words are matching what I'm thinking. Apple home child! I see an abnormality in his cranium. What's going on? His speech is impaired. His brain must have experienced a great amount of stress. Well, what can we do? We have the medication the hospital provided. That ampule seems fishy. It looks exactly like the ampules we found at the abandoned subway. Everyone, be careful. You have another closing in on you. His timing couldn't be worse. Stay here and rescue Ito. We'll handle the others. Damn it! My head feels like it's going to split in two! Come on, Yuto, let's do something here. So every time I try to do an ability or try to move, he seems like he's having a headache. I can't attack or anything. I'm trying to move here. Oh my gosh, this is interesting. I have to fight. Yeah, he can't do anything. I can't do anything right now. Yuito, can't you use your power? Nope, can't do any power. No, I tried. I think I have to get hit a couple times. I don't know if I have to deplete all the way to zero i don't think so that's no way okay this isn't good i can't use my power at all i won't even be able to fight what can we do is there some way to cure him do i drink it yuito <laughs> Squeamish. That other's gonna kill me if I don't take this. I have to. <laughs> Yuito? Did he drink the medication? Sugumi! I'm looking now. Oh, the abnormality in his cranium is starting to disappear. This medication is really working. Uh, my head is starting to hurt a lot less. Yuito, I can understand what you're saying now. Can you fight? Yeah, I'm good to go. Let's take them out. Okay, looks like we're ready to rock and roll here. I can do this. Just realized I almost died there. Didn't think too much, I just used it. Sometimes I'm not even paying attention to the items when I'm using it. Let's just use this, yeah. Oh gosh, never mind. I should use it on the big guy. I thought I was doing that. It's a waste. 
Okay, before we fight that guy that just ran me over, let's just kill the little ones here, the pool things. Scummy pool. These are a little bit easier to kill. I think they just spit out like little, like, I guess as it says, pools of oil, I think, or acid. I'm not sure. I, I try not to even get close to it at this point here. I try not even to think about it. I just destroy it again right here so that I don't get taken damage from that. And then we'll just take on this thing. We have fought this thing before. I wish one of those construction vehicles was nearby. That would have taken the thing out quickly. Uh, Luca looks like a down the count. Where is this guy? Uh, let me just take some damage for kill. Let me just get some uh, healing going. Okay, well, we don't have much healing, so I'll just use the medium jelly. Oh, there he is. I haven't revived one of these before. Okay, I have to hold it, it seems like. I thought I just had to press and click. Oh gosh. Looks like I have to hold it. So let me just hopefully get this in time. Luca, Luca, Luca. Oh wow. Close. Right, let's just uh, destroy it. I think I'm just gonna leave it down to the count. This thing is not that hard to kill. And the armor is off the face, so we can do a lot more damage. Right? Look at that. It's not even doing anything, really. This is actually pretty nice. Just stay put, we can just take it down really fast. We also have that object there, let me just use this quickly if I can. Oh yeah, this will definitely take it out, I think. Oh yeah, it's done for the count. There we go. And we're level 27, that's actually really nice. I'm not picking up any abnormalities on my end. How are you feeling, Yuito? I feel fine now. I know I had you worried, but I'm glad I took it. Honestly, I wasn't going to be any help in that condition. That makes sense. And I'm not seeing any signs of side effects either. Perhaps there was no need to worry about the medication after all. Well, it smelled weird and tasted really bad. Are we going to continue on our assignment? Shouldn't we go back to the hideout and rest a little bit? I'm fine. My powers are working normally again. I'll let you know if something feels off. Let's keep going. Copy that. But please don't push yourself too hard. Promise me. Okay. I promise. Okay, looks like we are good to go. Is there anything down here? Yeah, let me grab this quickly. Okay, I need to save this part because I feel like my teammates are not looking so hot and I need to probably find some resources, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a saving spot really close. Wait, what's that? A green orb over there. Can I get that? Let me see. One second, guys. Let me double check on this. Might take a couple of seconds. Oh, never mind. I have to actually go through a different platform. Okay, never mind. Okay, so let's just go quickly see this guy and save it here. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it a video here. I do greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already, I'm gonna put up two posts here. One of them is a series on Tales of Rise. If you have not seen that, go click on it. And then I'll put also the first episode of the series. I do greatly appreciate it. And hopefully you guys have yourself a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.